All right, is this thing on? Okay, good. Hello, fans. I'm Tommy Maloney, DIY do-it-yourself guru, and I would like to thank you for participating in my ongoing YouTube series in which I provide specific steps how to handle any do-it-yourself home improvement project. Today, we're going to look at how to successfully handle the installation of a ceiling fan. I'm joined today by my brother-in-law, Merle, who assisted me on this and many other projects. Say hello to our fans, Merle. The genesis of today's do-it-yourself project began at the request of my dear wife, Karina, who wanted to replace a light fixture with a fan in the Maloney household family room. This, she thought, would brighten up the atheistics of the room and also cut down on the summer air conditioning bill, which, by the way, is outrageous. It's highway robbery, I tell you. So wishing to appease my lovely bride, I drove down to the local hardware store, of course, accompanied by my brother-in-law, Merle, where we were greeted by this kid, Benny. My God, this kid's face, it's covered in piercings. I mean, there's needles and hooks everywhere. He looks like a freaking pincushion. Then he tells me he has them all over his freaking entire body. I don't even want to think about that. So anyway, Benny sells us a ceiling fan that looks good. We're ready to install the fan. And guess what? Boom. It locks right into place like magic. I couldn't freaking believe it. So then we attach the paddles, you know, the blade things. Then we step back to admire our handicraft. And I got to tell you, and Merle will testify, that was one good looking ceiling fan. So me and Merle, we're standing there proud as two peacocks patting each other on our respective backs for another job well done. So to make a somewhat celebratory situation of it, I invite Karina into the family room to do the honors of flipping the wall switch, thereby officially inaugurating our first ever do-it-yourself ceiling fan installation. So Karina, she comes into the family room and flips the switch. The three of us are standing there waiting, and sure enough, the blades, they start moving. Then they're rotating, slow at first. Then they're spinning faster and faster and faster. I swear to God, I'm dying if I'm lying. This thing had to be clocking a thousand RPMs. So then what happens? The thing starts wobbling. And I'm not talking about your average milk toes wimpy little wobbling here. I mean, this thing was wobbling like a tilt-a-whirl ride at the carnival. And then what happens? The freaking fan breaks away from the ceiling. So now it's sailing across the room like one of those military helicopter drones. I mean, this thing flies all the way across the room and doesn't stop until it takes out the sliding glass door. Karina was pissed. What's more, while in mid-flight, it smacked Merle on his head, causing him to incur no small measure of pain and suffering. Poor guy. Show him your head, Merle. In fact, I'm currently in consultation with a lawyer acquaintance about a possible lawsuit against a hardware store for pain and suffering incurred. But anyway, back to the project. So then, I goes back to the hardware store to give a peace of mind to Benny, you know. And what's he tell me? That little stunad says that for an extra 200 bucks, they would have sent a contractor out to install the ceiling fan for me. Now he tells me. I tell you, I wanted to give him a smack. So let's fast forward, my friends. As I think by now you received the gist of the story, here we are one week later in the Maloney family room basking beneath the bombs of a brand new, finely tuned ceiling fan. And what makes it even better? Karina is happy. Well, let's just say she's not so pissed anymore. So now, ladies and gentlemen, for the moral of the story, if you are thinking about installing a ceiling fan, I got specific advice for you. Don't do it. Call your hardware store, contract to have them do it, get it done. I'd again like to thank you for participating in my ongoing YouTube series in which I provide specific steps on how to handle any do-it-yourself home improvement project. I'm Tommy Maloney. This is Merle. We're signing off. Thank you and have a great day.